Schiller does not anticipate objections to his critique of modern culture. If anything, some may claim that this universally occurs. Schiller resists the further claim and thinks there is something unique about his age. To show this difference, he contrasts it with the Greeks. The Greeks had all the refinement that his age does. However, it does not cause the same problems within their culture. Why? The Greeks were creative and reasonable, yielding a united humanity. Schiller thinks the Greeks, as they awoke from their sensual slumber, did not divide up the mind like moderns. Philosophy and poetry intermingled, exchanging functions episodically. Moderns, with their specific brand of refinement, carve up the mind and stratify classes according to portions of total human psychology, making anyone in particular an unfair representative of the age, whereas any Greek could proudly represent humanity. In addition to more rigorous speculation, modern machinery has expedited the divided intellect and by extension societal stratification. Simultaneously, industrial machinery has created an incredible chasm between intuitive imagination and the rational understanding. So not only are the professional classes alienated from one another, but from their feeling and creative natures as well. The separation of art and learning reaches its completion by the modern spirit of government. Government atomizes people in accordance with professional strengths that serve the abstract whole, while keeping them fragmented beings. Schiller seemed to have anticipated the whole cogs in the machine proletariat talk. Only the aptitudes relating to honor and wealth are celebrated, whilst all creative and spiritual endeavors are neglected by the state. The state quite likes it to have meager, talented, uh, meager talent completely devoted to single occupations. It serves the mechanism of the state well, whereas genius and vigor outside that single profession does not. What good does it do the current state if a man of genius is sublime or spiritual in industry? Ultimately, the laws of the abstract whole, i.e. the state, cannot help but seem entirely alien to this mishmash of professions that are reflected of the divides in the modern intellect. This is in part how moderns get to the point where moral imposed force is either hated by the upper class narcissist or respected by the externally determined brutes. Schiller thinks the dismembering of the mind was the inevitable, necessary progress of man. Greek humanity could not be surpassed or sustained. The intellect would have eventually splintered itself. Schiller wants to get the fragments of the intellect reunited again and remarried to the imagination. This unification is how we will be made into fulfilled and happy men, who I suspect Schiller thinks will be ready for the ideal moral state. Think of an athlete that does nothing but bicep curls. He will look pretty strange if that's the only exercise that he does. He must work out all his limbs and muscles, according to Schiller, in order to be beautiful. Similarly, all the components of the human mind must be exercised and brought into unity in order to achieve happiness. Schiller thinks a higher art can restore our human totality. Whew. My name is Luke Johnson. Uh, I give individualized tutorials in the humanities. Um, if you want me to help you with this book, Schiller's On the Aesthetic Education of Man, or anything else you may be struggling with in regards to your writing or essays for college, whatever, I can do that. 703-727-2184 or philosophyluke at gmail.com. All the money that uh, I accrue from doing that will be used for this online platform that I'm building that I hope will totally disseminate ideas in a new way in our society. Thank you and have a wonderful day.